Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton Boxers. And tonight, it's one of those typical measuring stick matchups as the Boston College High School Eagles come to town to face your 5 0 and 1 Boxers. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop Colombo Field here at Marciano Stadium. We mentioned the Brockton Boxers coming in at 5 0 and 1. The player to watch, senior captain, midfielder, Junior Gomes. He's got six goals on the season. That's one goal per game. The Eagles, on the other hand, coming in at three and three. They got to watch on their side is senior forward, Dimitri Seremitis. BC High is wearing their away maroon jerseys and shorts with gold and white trim. The boxers, on the other hand, they're home whites with red and black trim. Brockton coming off a 4-1 to one victory against big three-divisional rival, the Durfee Hilltoppers. And that followed up a win against Everett here at Marciano Stadium. Of the boxers' six games thus far, only two of them have been here at Marciano Stadium. Brockton starting off with possession, playing five men back, and immediately touched by senior goalkeeper Dalton Rocha. Brendan Kennedy throwing it in for the Eagles and taken by number 24, Shamar Rainford. This one sent all the way up and out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for the Boxers. Beautiful night here for soccer. It is 70 degrees on the nose. A little bit windy, gusts up to about 15, coming from the east. Rockton with it, sending it across and out of bounds onto the Harry C. Allen track. Interesting discussion with head coach Herminio Furtado before the game. The controversial call that led to the Durfee goal in the boxer's last matchup. It was a penalty kick awarded after a handball, which is not the controversial part. The handball was called on a player who was covering his face to protect his face from being hit by the ball. And the refs awarded a penalty kick to the Hilltoppers who were able to capitalize. BC High playing with three forwards, four midfielders and three defenders. Now Brockton with an opportunity a shot and it's gonna trickle just wide. Number 10 with the shot for Brockton. That is Junior Gomes. Number 18 rather, Leonardo Texera on the boxer's opportunity. Boxers offense, very, very potent. All four goals against the Hilltoppers coming from the leg of Leonardo Texera. Of course, the Boxers first match up here, we saw Junior Gomes with a hat trick. That's a good move and getting tripped up is number 20 of the boxers, Odair Montero. 
free kick for Brockton. They opt to put it back in short and sending it back to Rocha, the goalkeeper for Brockton, who now sends it back towards midfield. And it's going to be out of bounds off of the Eagles. Couple of players hit the ground. It's going to be a penalty called against number nine, Jonathan Rodriguez of Brockton. BC high free kick from just about midfield. This one sent all the way in on Rocha and it finds the back of the net bouncing high above the jumping goalkeeper for the Brockton boxers. And we're waiting to see which eagle took that free kick? I believe that was number seven. Declan Deasy, the senior defender. Brendan Kennedy, the eagle responsible for that goal from give or take 65 yards out from net sending it high enough and accurate enough that it bounced over the jumping Dalton Rocha both the freshman and JV team lost to the Eagles today the undefeated freshman lost by a score of three to one. And what was declared a blowout, Brockton really had no opportunity in that game. Texera trying to pop it up to Leonardo Texera. The Eagles sending it back the other way. 33-45 left to go in the first half. The Eagles up one to nothing over the Brockton Boxers on a free kick from 65 yards out. taken down from behind was number 13 of the boxers. That is Jalen DeRosa. Very senior laden team for the Eagles. 15 of the upperclassmen listed on the roster. Seven juniors and three sophomores and no freshmen. Brockton trying to come back, taken down in the box was Rodriguez, no call. Gomes trying to create some space on the far side. Now chipping it up, trying to find Texera, unsuccessful. It pops back to the boxers at midfield. Now sending it long for number 20, who can't handle it cleanly. It's sent into the Eagles bench. And a throw in for the boxers. Texera with the self pass and that's going to be a corner kick the first of the game for Brockton 
BC High's coach screaming that should be an eagle throw in. He will not prevail in that argument. Texera taking the corner kick, sending it low into the box. It's still loose and popped towards the net and taken and saved by the goalkeeper, Andrew Phillips, who was just out of his goalie's box when he released that ball. And we're gonna have a push called against Brockton. Eagles take it the other way, 10 minutes into the first half. Couple of whistles and the official is going to have a word with a member of the Eagles on the bench. That official must have a very good set of ears to hear what he must have heard to stop the game from 30 yards away. be a goal kick for Brockton as BCI couldn't chase it down before the end line. Texera taking it, getting held and setting it ahead for Gomes. It's a foot race and it's gonna be won by the goalkeeper for the Eagles. Andrew Phillips has not been tested often. It's going to be an Eagles throw in on the near sideline. Number five with an opportunity on the near side. That is Ryan Cuzo. Sending it out of bounds. An Eagle player held just inside midfield. will have free kick taken again by number three. Brendan Kennedy, the lone goal scorer in this game, sending it right back in on net and it'll go out of bounds about three feet in front of Ryan Cuzo. Texera coming away with it, but it is quickly defended nicely by Andrew Murray, the senior captain. Kennedy has it taken off his feet. And a throw in deep in boxer territory for the BC High Eagles. Jake Catanella into the game for the Eagles. He replaces number nine, Dimitri Ceremitis.
Perry, long throw right in on Ned, and it's going to sprinkle out just wide. And the Eagles will have a corner kick. Right out the other side, no harm, no foul for the Brockton Boxers. Still in a little bit of trouble as they need to clear out. Texera now looking for Gomes and it's an open net. And Jonathan Rodriguez Pounds it into the back of the net, and we have a tie ball game. Self pass off of his stomach for Jonathan Rodriguez, and making no mistake. Leonardo Texera getting the assist on that goal. And so we have a one to one game with 24 minutes remaining in the first half. for the boxers is taken down from behind. <laughs> now foot race swung easily by number three of the boxers, Claudio Mascarenas. Corner kick for the Eagles. This one sent too far out of the box. And it's going to be run out of bounds by Dalton Rocha. And you're going to be hearing the name Eagles a lot on BCA in the next few days. Of course, playing the Boston College High School soccer team right now. And tomorrow night at Harvard, Harvard University. The boxer football team takes on the Eagles as Leonardo Texera trying to come up with an opportunity. Now a shot blocked away by the back line of the Eagles and Texera with another opportunity Still with it, sending it in and out, and it's going to end up a very fought, a very good fought for corner kick for the boxers. Kicks it right in on net, loose in the box. Yeah. And it's gonna pop in and that's another boxer goal. There's a scrum in front. As we'll await official scoring to determine who got that goal. 
The initial corner kick went right in on Murray. Leonardo Texera on the goal for the boxers. So it's officially Leonardo Texera unassisted and Brockton with another opportunity. The goalie's down, a shot, and it's going to be another goal for the boxers. This one scored by number 20, Odair Montero. Brockton pouring it on three to one with 19 minutes and 40 seconds left in the first half. And BC High very wisely is going to use their timeout with 19.27 left in the first half, trailing three to one. Brockton with three unanswered goals, two in the span of about 40 seconds. Odair Montero, Leonardo Texera, and Jonathan Rodriguez with the three Brockton goal scorers. And Brendan Kennedy with the lone tally for the Eagles. So Brockton with two goals in about 40 seconds. Stunning the Boston College High School Eagles. Forcing them to use their own timeout. As close as it was in the first quarter of this game, Brockton had the upper hand within 20 yards of the BC high goal. Nineteen twenty-five left in the first half, three to one. The boxers out of nowhere over the Eagles. So Texera back to number 15 of the boxers. Now sent all the way in. Mascarenas is going to send it up to Rodriguez. are thrown deep in Eagle territory. This one loose in the box. Brockton unable to get a shot off. And now sent all the way out of bounds. And a goal kick for the Eagles.
Eagles trying to apply some offensive pressure. Unsuccessful as the ball trickles out of bounds into the Brockton bench. Murray making a nice jumping save. And sending it back across midfield. High with an opportunity now, and it's going to be wasted as diving on the ball was Dalton Rocha. Goal kick for Brockton. 15 minutes left in the first half. Three to one the score. Three unanswered goals for the boxers. Scored by Odair Montero, Jonathan Rodriguez, and Leonardo Texera. That's Leonardo Texera again. Getting it to Montero. Montero crossing over and under, and he's pushed down. And the refs are going to say that was a clean play. The old forearm shiver is apparently allowed. This one sent well wide of the Brockton net. Beautiful sunset here at Marciano Stadium. Clouds are a shade of pink. Montero can't keep this one in bounds. Mascarenas into Texera. And out of bounds into the Eagles bench. Jake Catanella back in the game for the Eagles. This one sent 
all the way down out of bounds. Goal kick for the boxers. Now a quick give and go, create some space for Jonathan Texera, and through the legs to Texera, who sends it through the goalkeeper and clear it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the boxers, and BC High quite literally escaping there. Very long throw right into the goalie's box. Loose and Brockton unable to get a shot on net. Brockton coming within about a foot of a fourth goal. About 10 minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first half. Brockton taking this one and Shielding it out of bounds for the goal kick very nicely was Mascarenas. The whistle and a stoppage. Jonathan Texera went down to tie his shoe, believe the officials might have thought that it was an injury. It is going to be an injury substitution, number 17, Raven Rodriguez into the game. Jonathan Rodriguez, one of the three goal scorers for the boxers, is out. Taking down was Riven Rodriguez, number 24 taking it, sending it up to Gomes. Gomes back inside for Rodriguez and able to clear it out where the Eagles. But still in danger is Leonardo Texera sends a shot wide of the net. Six, Brendan Gomes, senior captain defender, into the game for Brockton. Rodriguez, or the injured Rodriguez, is having his shoulder checked out by Jerry, Con Jerry Connor. Brockton will have another corner kick. But Air Montero going to curve it outward back towards midfield. Low kick going for the bicycle and only half hitting it.
Seven minutes, 15 seconds left in what has been a very interesting first half. At one point, the Eagles were up one to nothing and Brockton storming back, scoring two goals in 40 seconds. Now the Eagles with a free kick and shanking it wide was number nine, Dimitri Ceremitis. Owens Osa Senega into the game for the Eagles. Apologies for the butcher job on that name. It is Osa Senega fighting for it with the boxers at the Brockton 25 yard line of the football markings. Now BC High with an opportunity broken up very nicely by Mascarenas. And we have a hurt boxer on the field. And BC High launching a shot, it's gonna go wide. What number's down? What number's down? Number 28. Is the boxer that was slow to get up, Mario Mendoza. He is back up. <laughs> Brockton again creating opportunities and a shot is gonna be saved by Mari. Number 17 with the latest boxer opportunity. And that is Riven Rodriguez. Trying to find Leonardo Texera up north and unsuccessful. But Brockton coming away with it at midfield. <laughs> the semi annual reminder the Time on the scoreboard is unofficial. The official time is kept on the field by the referees. The scoreboard will stop in about 40 seconds. And when that clock hits two minutes, we at the Mad Dog Research Team try to keep a stopwatch. It is fairly accurate, usually within 15 seconds of the official time. Now 
Brockton again unable to get a shot off. Two minutes unofficially left in the first half. Again, the score three to one. The boxers leading the Eagles of BC high, and another opportunity for the e for the boxers, and they score. I believe that was Leonardo Texera again. Number five, Luis Spinola, scoring that goal. And he was assisted by Ronilson Mendez, number 27. So four goals. Four goals, four different goal scorers. Daniel Andrade officially assisting on that goal. That goal leaves us with about 45 seconds left in the first half. Now four to one. And all four of those goals unanswered by the Eagles. Daniel Andre assisting on that goal. So four unanswered goals for the boxers. Not much time left at all as the stopwatch stands at two minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Whistle stoppage, it'll be a free kick for the Eagles. BC High, I have to give a slight advantage to the Eagles playing in the wind as their home field is right off of Morrissey Boulevard and there is always a sea breeze. Always. Now an opportunity for the Eagles and that's a goal in stoppage time for BC High. Number 24 Shamar Rainford scoring that goal, I believe, assisted by Owens Asa Senega. So two goals in stoppage time here in the first half. It is now four to two, the boxers on top. And now another opportunity for Brockton. And a shot off the post! Brockton, two and a half inches away from another goal. The last two minutes of the first half, so far, and that's the disclaimer, so far has lasted four minutes and 25 seconds. And the whistles blow, the first half has come to an end, a wild one here at Marciano Stadium. The score, four to two, the Brockton Boxers leading the BC High Eagles. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action, and there should be plenty of it right after this. 
Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. OK, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah. I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. OK, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Good morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise. Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between the BC High Eagles and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action from the Peter Farley Press Box here at Marciano Stadium. Folks, there has been a lot of action in the first half. Six total goals, four for Brockton, two for BC High. Brockton scoring two goals in the uh, in the span of 40 seconds. And now it's a foot race for Spinola, who can't get to it in time. It'll be a corner kick for the Eagy, for the boxers. Excuse me. So corner kick for the boxers as the sun has set here at Marciano Stadium. It is cooling off a little bit. Thankfully, it was brutal here. And a header and a goal for the boxers off of the corner kick. And the explosive offense continues. Number 28 scoring that header. Trying to track him down on my roster. That is Mario Mendoza. Scoring the fifth boxer goal. Assisted by number 20, Odair Montero, who has a goal and an assist on the day. So five to two boxers. And this has been a wild one. Uh -huh. 
Brockton with another opportunity. It has been a crazy night here at Marciano Stadium. Again, five to two the score. Five different goal scorers for the boxers. Odeir Montero, Mario Mendoza, Jonathan Rodriguez, Leonardo Texera, and Luis Spinola. There's a new goalkeeper in net for Brockton. Our new BC goal keeper. And they're switching him out now. Uh, I'm gonna go with Max Lobb, who's a junior. The goalkeepers are wearing numbers, but the numbers are not listed on the roster. Maybe he will have a little bit more luck than Andrew Murray, the, or rather Andrew Phillips, the senior goalkeeper who has had five goals against him so far in this game. Six minutes into the second half. Brockton warming up some of their second stringers. This one out of bounds and will be a corner kick for the boxers. No. This one headed up and out, but there was a foul called against the boxers, so a goal kick, or what amounts to a goal kick anyway, for the Eagles. Now a shot is saved, but loose, and pounded into the back of the net, and that's another boxer goal. That'll be Captain Junior Gomes as the sixth different goal scorer of the night for the boxers. Well, 
second goal scored in the thirty second minute of the second half by number ten, Captain Gigi Gomes. So it's Gomes unassisted. Adding to the list of Orayer Montero, Mario Mendoza, Jonathan Rodriguez, Leonardo Texera, and Luis Spinola. We're going to have to get another score sheet if the boxers keep up at this rate. Poor Felix over here is already on his second sheet. So Boxer throw in about 10 yards in front of the BC bench. About 10 minutes into the second half, Brockton's already put up two in this second half. Now taken back the other way by Leon Juiceberg. I guarantee you I messed that one up. That is spelled D-J-U-S-B-E-R-G. Any help is appreciated on that one. Now, able to keep it in bounds, but the shot went out for the boxers. Thomas Sommer into the game, replacing number 24, Shamar Rainford. Gonna go with Eusberg on the pronunciation of the senior midfielder's name. Any suggestions on the pronunciations, please let me know. And you can do that on Twitter at Brockton Channel, follow us. First and foremost, follow us at Brockton Channel. And if you want to talk to us, hashtag BCA Sports. Talk to us about almost anything. Covering any topic like tomorrow night's game at Harvard. Another opportunity for the boxers. This is Montero in the middle of the field. Losing it, but it finds number eight on the far side, and he's going to shank it just wide. And so a goal kick for the Eagles.
Platoon substitutions for the Eagles. As they realize this one's probably past them at this point. Twenty-five minutes to go now in the second half. Six to two, the boxers on top of the BC High Eagles. We have a boxer down who just took a cleat to the face. And now they're going to stop the clock. Number 28 down for the boxers, Mario Mendoza. We're being told that it was a head to the face. It's been a lot of or a decent number of head injuries this week at Marciano Stadium. So the Lady Boxers had an injury Tuesday night off of a ball to the face. As Brian Deleuze is going to take over for Mendoza. Picking up a little bit here at Marciano Stadium. Edson Lopes getting ready to come into the game for the boxers. And now another opportunity for Brockton. And able to be saved, at least initially, it's still loose in the box, and a goal! Junior Gomes with his second of the night to give the boxers a seven to two lead with 24 minutes to go in the second half. Gomes unassisted, putting his total for the year at eight in seven games. BC High is going to send in their third goalkeeper. I believe is Cooper Robards, the sophomore. And so the craziness at Colombo Field continues. More platoon substitutions for the Eagles. As, along with Robards, three other Eagles getting ready to come into the game. And now it's Texera fighting for it. We have a whistle and it's going to be called offsides against the boxers. Of 
free kick for the Eagles. So it is Robards taking over in goal. As the BC High Eagles are just trying to stop the bleeding from the very potent boxer offense. Twenty minutes to go in the second half. off the back heel of number two, Leandro Barros for the boxers. And it winds up being a penalty called against the boxers. It's a free kick for the Eagles. They scored from a similar distance on their first goal of the day. Brendan Kennedy sending this one in, tripped up, but no call for the Eagles and sent back towards midfield by the back line of Brockton. A shot end off the outside of the post will result in a goal kick as Brockton Sends out three pairs of fresh legs. Bradley Beijing. Lincoln Cena. And Philippe Pinto all into the game for the boxers. Brockton with another opportunity. This is number 21 taken down, and we're going to have a whistle as Bradley Beijing, a little bit slow to get up, took a shoulder to the face. And it'll be a free kick for the boxers from about 25 yards out from net. Shot directly on, and it's going to go just wide, but off the post and still in. The goalkeeper's well out of position. Finally able to scramble back, and it will be a throw in for the boxers.
Brockton still applying the offensive pressure even though they're up five goals late in the second half. The seven goals for the Boxers scored by Odair Montero, Mario Mendoza, Jonathan Rodriguez, Leonardo Texera, Luis Spinola, and two from Junior Gomes. And the boxer is going to switch out goalkeepers. It is Fabio Andrade, the senior goalkeeper. Replacing Dalton Rocha. Thomas Somar and Brendan Kennedy, the two goal scorers for the Eagles. Whistle stoppage in BC trying to get the quick restart, but nobody was there to take the, the free kick. Opportunity for the Eagles, a shot and a save by Andrade. Being able to dive on the rebound. Set the head for Leandro Barros, who sends it across the box just a little bit too far and out the other side. take this opportunity to thank the cast and crew for tonight's festivities. At the helm, our fearless leader tonight, directing the show, the one and only Paul Mandeville. Right next to him on instant replay. He's been busy tonight bringing you nine goals among other action. It is Mike the Postman Simmons with yet another delivery to the viewers of Brockton. And next to him on graphics, he's also had a pretty busy night. This is J.D. Wenners. Up top on camera, we have the one and only Rob Curry and Jacob Hazel. And once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from the Peter Farley press box here at Marciano Stadium. And can't just have nine goals and not have a lot of action as Brockton looking to add an eighth. And it's going to go just wide. Twelve minutes and 20 seconds left in the second half of this one. The 
And tomorrow night, boxer football team traveling up to the Harvard University to play these very same BC High Eagles, except in football. Brockton with another offensive opportunity and unable to get a shot off. It will trickle out of bounds. But we will have that game for you on Brockton Community Access. As we gear up for the busy season of Brockton High Sports heading into October. Corner kick for Brockton and popped up through the uprights. A few more substitutions for the Eagles. We are now joined, and this is the <laughs> official title, not so newly named athletic director, Kevin Caro. Mr. Caro, seven goals yeah. out of nowhere. Two goals in 40 seconds in the first half to really take the wind out of the Eagles. What have you seen tonight from the Brockton High team, and what gives you hope for the rest of the season? Oh, just what I've seen all year. And Can you turn me down a little bit? <laughs> It, you know, they, they're just very um, good at spreading the ball around the field, and and they don't let people come and try to take it away. They're very quick at moving it side to side and up the field, and they kind of anticipate where each other's going to be. And I know that that's something that they've worked on. And, you know, BC traditionally has come in and, and been a very, very tough test for us. And after the start of the game, you know, we're five minutes in, and there's – the goal and you could just kind of see the Brockton kids kind of like what what just happened but they responded like I thought they would they just came and played their game and they didn't panic and uh, that was 7-2 and honestly it could be a little bit more than that easily very very easily BC is already on their third goalkeeper of the night but you are rocking some sweet threads right now well thank you these, these are these the are these are borrowed and I didn't pack accordingly because, you know, it was so warm and muggy. And I watched the weather forecast, and I said it was going to be in the mid-70s. I'm like, mid-70s is good. I didn't really follow the evening forecast <laughs> where it said we're going down to the 50s. And So, yeah, these just came in. You like these, Matt? There's, um, I like them. The kids like them, too. I heard them yeah. trying to verbally assault you to uh, get them oh, to they, give you your yeah, hat. Yeah, can I sweatshirt? have your hat? Yeah. Can I have your sweatshirt? But these will be for sale um, during our homecoming game, which we're going to have on our October the 13th. And that's, that, it's really a big thing that we've got going. It started off with a, hey, let's just kind of have a game and recognize some um, people who work for the city and teachers. And now it's really grown into a, an event in which we're going to have a tent uh, with food that Chatwells is going to give us. We're hoping to get a big raffle prize that uh, if somebody kicks a 35-yard field goal um, after they purchase a raffle ticket, we'll have something really good for them. But we're still working on that. But the thing I'm looking forward to the most is we've got a comedy show coming up right after the football game in the Brockton High School Auditorium, which um, usually is only used for, you know, plays and concerts and things like that. But we have a national headliner coming in and uh, all the proceeds that we get from ticket sales go right to the athletic programs here at the high school and I'm just hoping that everybody will come out and have a few laughs to start the weekend off on a good note. Our director, our fearless leader Paul Mandeville has asked the one question, he says who? Paul Nardizzi and if you look him up he's been on Comedy Central, he's been on Conan O'Brien, He's been on Leto. He's been on Letterman. I mean, he's uh, all he's over been, the he's, place. He's, he's been Those out in Vegas. No, he's been out in Vegas. I mean, he, he's just a very, a very much. If um, I'm dating myself, but a uh, little bit of Stephen Wright, you know, just very dry um, sense of humor, but just spot on as far as some of the things he talks about about being a dad and uh, just. 
growing up as a kid. So I, I think everybody here will really uh, enjoy it if they if they show. And we're going to have the dedication of the Andrade Family Champions Park that night, too. Mm. Maybe? <laughs> May maybe. That's the rumor flying around. Well, uh, last I heard is that Roy was not going to be in town. Um, but then again, I, I'll see our facilities director tomorrow. We'll kind of figure out what it is, when the date's going to be. And it looks real, I mean, it looks spectacular over there. The grass is starting to come in and the walkway has been done. So it really looks great. So we've got a, a rout on our hands of the BC High Eagles tonight, yeah, which, which as I'd a Brockton High alumnus, it makes me happy to say. I'm hoping for the same result tomorrow when we travel up to Harvard University. Yep, parking the car. Parking the car in Harvard Yard. But I was talking, who was I? I forget who I was talking to earlier today about this team. And the thing, they're a talented group, but just as, as kids, they're fantastic. I mean, they just are true gentlemen. They represent everything that's great about this city and about our school. And, uh, you know, Coach Furtado has just done a wonderful job mentoring him and just kind of uh, showing him what he w wants them to do. About five minutes left in the second half. Again, the score seven to two. Six different goal scorers spreading the wealth yeah. for the Brockton Boxers. Well, that's what we saw last week when they played Everett. And um, just the way that they move the ball. They move it, they move it, they pass it. They don't let anybody really they pick it up. This is Fabio Andrade toying with the minds of the Eagles. I don't understand that. It's a very good athletic move on the sideline by the head coach oh, of the boxers. I'm telling you, the head coach can still play. He's got some game. And he's really good with working uh, with the goalies. He's got some really good drills and to just see him in action. So you don't get to see me take BP over at the stadium. Not yet. No. Not yet. You use a T for that? Please. So Brockton boys soccer with a very successful week. They already defeated big three divisional rivals, the Durfee Hilltoppers, four to one yep. at Durfee. And now taking it to the Catholic Conference. BC High Eagles trailing seven to two. And you just hope that, you know, at this point in the game that you don't have a cheap shot thrown. I always, I always worry about that. That somebody says something or, you know, there's a, there's a little extra push or a shove and then you have a a really clean game turned into a mess. That's all everybody remembers. Hey, hey. Free kick for the boxers. And there'll be a substitution prior to that. So I've got to ask a big question for the crew tomorrow. With so many choices in the Harvard area, where is the uh, post-game meal going to be? We haven't yet decided. There's a few burger spots on no, the list. No, no, no. Come on. You're in. You're so close to world famous barbecue, the one and only Red Bones, right in Davis Square. You ever been? I have not been to oh. Red Bones. <laughs> Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone here, young man. Young man. Might have to travel there tonight. Goal kick for the Eagles. As it's clear to me now I'm gonna to be tortured in the press box. Send help, we're looking at pictures of barbecue. Red Bones, 55 Chester Street in Somerville, right in Davis Square. <laughs> That's like borderline on the way. It's literally, one T stop up. Time will be 
Official time kept on the field by the referees. We do have a stopwatch. The first half, last two minutes, lasted four minutes and 51 seconds. Wood smoked beef brisket dinner for 14 hours. Mm -hmm. I think we have a winner. Oh, my friend, I am going to go down on the field for the handshake to make sure everything works out good, but I will see you tomorrow at the stadium. Thanks to the Pleasure crew for coming out. And um, we'll catch up to you soon. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow in the box. Maybe. We've got about a minute left here in the route of the BC High Eagles. Again, the seven goals for the boxers, scored by Odair Montero, Mario Mendoza, Jonathan Rodriguez, Leonardo Texera, Luis Spinola, and two from senior captain Junior Gomes, who now has eight on the year in just seven games. The two Boston College high goals, one scored by Brendan Kennedy, and one by Thomas Summer. And that brings us to the score of seven to two. As we've seen a plethora of goalkeepers. We've had a rotating door for the Eagles. Three goalkeepers for BC High. And two for the boxers, Fabio Andrade in there now. There's not much time here left at all, maybe about 15 seconds. Again tomorrow night, Brockton High football against BC High at Harvard University. We'll have that game for you on Brockton Community Access. And next week the football team travels to the Hawk Bowl in Westwood as we play Severian, a big Matchup against the Hawks as our Catholic Conference swing comes to an end. Sent out of bounds by the goalkeeper for the Eagles. The whistles blow and this game has come to an end for one team, thankfully. The final score, seven to two. The Brockton Boxers get a big win against the BC High Eagles, they now move to 6-0-1 on the year. And BC High falls to 3-4. and four. A route here at Marciano Stadium to end the week for the Brockton High boys soccer team. And that'll just wrap it up here for Marciano Stadium. Again, the score, 7-2, boxers over the Eagles. For everyone here at BCA Sports, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.